Hi, I'm Peter Norman with Iconics Imaging. Our Crystal Blast Summit comes with three quick port options. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a mold using our silicone putty. We're going to be using the mold boxes that come with the purchase of the Crystal Blast Summit. We'll be using our two-part silicone putty and we're going to be using a couple of our Engraver Select glass pieces. So let's get started with the first mold. The first thing you want to do is take your glass or substrate and figure out the area or window that you're going to be sandblasting. So with this particular glass we have a very small window. An easy thing that I found to do is to actually take the photoresist mask that you're going to be sandblasting and put it on the glass. So I'm finding the location where I want to sandblast, making sure that I have it straight. And this is exactly where I want it. So now that I have the mask in the location, I'm going to get the mold box ready. To get the mold box ready, the first thing you want to do is put little spacers. The spacers will help for when I'm placing the glass down into the putty. I don't want it to touch the bottom of the mold box. So the spacers help eliminate that. So now I'll just locate, make sure the spacers are in the correct location, and they are. And now we're ready to start mixing the silicone putty. The silicone putty comes in two parts. It's activated when you mix it together. So basically it takes about three minutes and you just have to keep mixing it with your hands. Basically once it's one solid color you're ready to start making your silicone mold. You have about 20 minutes before it hardens completely so you want to work relatively fast so our silicone putty is now ready to be placed in the mold box. The first thing I'm going to do is place a couple little pieces on top of the spacers that I have in the mold box. So I'm going to put them in the four corners. Once I've done that, I need to place the magnets onto the spacers. The reason for the magnets is to secure the completed mold to the Crystal Blast Summit quick port opening. Once I have the magnets placed, I can put the rest of the putty into the mold box. And I'm just going to be pressing it down to get it completely over the magnets. Okay, and now you could use a tool if you want to pretty it up and get it flat. And it only takes a few minutes for this to start hardening up. So now I'm going to press this glass down and you want to work the glass. Some glasses might be a little more fragile than other glasses so I'm just working it until I hit the spacers and I'm at the spacers now. You want to press against just so you have a nice seat in the putty so the glass is seated. You can even create a lip in the opening so when you put the glass in the mold it'll be secure for the sandblasting. And once you get it just how you like it, nice and tight against the glass, it only takes about 20 minutes and you'll have your silicone mold.
Once you have formed the edges of the putty to the glass, wait 20 minutes and your silicone mold is ready to be removed from the mold box. So while the first mold is drying, we can start on the second mold. So again, the first thing that you want to do is take your spacers, place them in the mold box, and these are going in the center, and depending where you put them will, the location of the, the spacers will depend on the type of glass that you're using. Um, I'm using a low ball glass and it's going to be going in the center of the mold box. So basically I just want the spacers spread out evenly. You could use two spacers, I'm using three. Um, but they're evenly spaced. So when I press down with the low ball glass, they'll stop at the spacers evenly and they, the glass won't be rocking back and forth. Now that the spacers are placed in the mold box, I'm going to take my glass and apply the mask. Just like before, I'm going to find the location of the mask where I want the sandblast zone to be. And now we're ready to mix the silicone. So just like before, I will take out the first part of the putty. And the second part. And we start mixing them together. Approximately three minutes of mixing. And remember, when you're mixing the putty, you want it to mix into one solid color. So just like before, I'm going to put the silicone putty in four corners of the mold box, pressing down on my spacers. Once you have the four corners down, you grab your magnets and place them onto the spacers. Again, the magnets are used to hold the silicone mold to the quick port. Now that the magnets are placed, put the rest of the putty into the mold box. Just press it down so you get a nice, even rectangle. You can also look at the bottom. We have a clear bottom on the mold box. So you can see if it's completely formed in there. Okay, and now we're ready to place our glass down. And again, as you're pressing down, you're wiggling it. Some glasses might be a little thinner, so you don't want to put a lot of pressure. So I'm just putting a little bit of pressure as I work my way down to the spacers. I hit the spacer. Now I'm going to form the silicone around my part so that it seats in there nice. And I'm pulling a little bit of the silicone over the lip of the glass, which will help the glass seat when you're doing your sandblasting. So once the silicone is completely pressed to your liking against the glass, we can wait 20 minutes and we'll be able to remove the silicone mold from the mold box. With every purchase of a Crystal Blast Summit, Iconics Imaging will be providing a mold box with the Crystal Blast Summit. The mold box that we designed will accommodate a variety of sizes. This is a little bit larger mold box that has a spacer inside it. As you can see, we can fit small pieces or we can take the spacer out to accommodate a standard size wine bottle or a larger award. So now after waiting 20 minutes, our silicone molds are ready to be removed from the mold box. All you need to do is unscrew the bottom plate after you remove the holding screws you need to remove 
our spacer screws from the magnets. You don't need to unscrew them completely, but just enough so that they're removed from the magnets. Once the spacer screws are removed, we're ready to remove the bottom plate. And here is the finished piece. You can see your spacers are right here. You can take the spacers out. You have your location embedded. And now we need to cut the sandblast window. So once you've cut your window, you can take your glass, check to make sure that you cut enough away, and now we're ready to sandblast. So now let's take out the second mold. Again, what we're going to do is take out the holding screws. These screws are holding the bottom plate together. Remove those screws completely. When completing the final screw, we'll now pull the spacers away from the magnets. And again, you do not need to remove these screws completely. Okay, once you've unscrewed the spacers a little bit, we're now ready to take the back plate off. And you can push the mold right out. And the glass should come right out like that. And now we're ready to cut our window. So once you've cut your window, again, you want to inspect to make sure that your mask is completely covering. And now we're ready to sandblast. So now you see how easy it is to make a silicone mold using Iconics Imaging's Mold Putty. The variety of shapes and sizes, anything from a wine bottle to a standard award, ceramic mugs to a large award. So for more information, please contact your Iconics Imaging sales representative.